Welcome to Bike Bike Nudge Nudge. Today I have just a simple video where I'm going to try and explore can I carry something big and awkward in my cargo bike. As you can see behind me, autumn is in full swing where I live and it's going to get cold soon. Uh, I do do quite a bit of winter biking but not as much as I should and I would like to try and keep in better shape this winter so I'm off to buy a rowing machine. So I checked and the box dimensions look like it might stick out a bit, but I haven't done this. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I might have to phone my wife to come and rescue me in our van. Uh, so we'll see if this is work, will work out. In this episode, there's nothing too interesting about the route that I'm going to take. Uh, the store I'm going to is in a industrial area with lots of strip malls, that kind of thing. Uh, so the last kilometer will be terrible, but the rest of the route is directly out on uh, residential roads, so it should be fine and nothing too interesting to talk about. So let's go and see if I can put a rowing machine in a cargo bike. Well, it's mission accomplished in a George Bush kind of way. I'm not too much further from home. I've <clears throat> picked up my rower and a mat to go underneath. Uh, what did I learn from this? Well, it's possible to ride with something a little bit too big for your, for your cargo bike. Uh, as you can see, it's <clears throat> sticking quite, out, quite far out the front. Uh, the box only weighs about 30 kilograms, so it's not too heavy. It's much lighter than taking one of my girls or my wife or my mom. So the ride was easy. I took the ride easy, uh, I didn't go too fast or push things. Uh, things I'm glad for, uh, I had bought a cargo net and a big box of various size bungee cords. And you can see I'm using a blue one here, a green one there, and also a yellow one attached right to the box. So that made it uh, easy to secure my load. Uh, I didn't record trying to secure my load because all it was was me throwing the cargo net over top and trying various lengths of bungee cord until I found one that worked. Uh, I'm not sure if this is as secure, it's a little loose back here, but it's working okay. Uh, things that I didn't like, uh, the store was not walkable. Uh, getting back was really bad. I stood watching tons of cars go by in front of me and even when I was halfway through the crosswalk because there were no lights. Uh, car went speeding through, so infrastructure would help me do this more often. Um, things about the cargo bike I, I didn't like. It doesn't, this particular brand of cargo bike doesn't have a lot of tie downs and it makes it difficult to try and find places to put the bungee cord. This one here at the back is just going underneath the frame and hooked twice to the, the, the cargo net. The ones in the front, I'm just feeding them underneath the front fork, trying not to pull on the steering device or the cable that runs to the front to power the front light. Um, that might be something to look into is if there's a way I can modify this bike to get more tie down points so that I can, I can better hook, uh, hook my bungee cords on to hold large loads down. Otherwise, I'm glad for the electric assist. Um, the route was flat, but I had it on the second lowest mode and took it easy, and it was a very easy ride. So I hope you enjoyed this short little episode just to talk about trying to take a large load on your cargo bike. Uh, I hope it's been informative. If you have any comments on things you do to secure large loads, please let me know, and I hope you'll like this video and subscribe and come back next time when I have another video. Oh, hello. I know, an end credit scene. It's just like this is a Marvel movie. By the way, Deadpool, I have a medically diagnosed genetic mutation. I'd be perfect for X-Force. Call me. Speaking of Deadpool, this scene isn't to show what's gonna come up on this channel. It's to fix some past mistakes. Did you notice in the previous scene how my Brompton bag was beside me? I forgot to put it on the bike underneath that big bulky box. This wasn't much of a problem as I just slung it over my shoulder on the way home. If you're gonna carry something large and bulky and you think you need access to some smaller items, I recommend taking a backpack. 
or maybe get the rear rack and use panniers. Having the Brompton bag slung around my shoulders wasn't much of a problem while riding, but every time I had to get off my seat, it would slip down. This was only really a problem when I came to cross busy streets as I had to go and activate beg buttons. Cargo bike is a little awkward to handle in the, in the best of times, but you add a big box on top and a bag slipping down and how inaccessible some of the beg buttons in my street are, and it can make things a little difficult. If you'd like to see a video on how it is to access beg buttons normally by a cargo bike, you can click the link I'm providing above. Well, that's it. It's now safe to leave the theater. I won't be showing a second post-credit end scene, I promise.